Hey guys, how are we doing? So um, just the real quick intro, if you're watching this back, um, my name's James Boardman. I'm going to be doing a live feed on talking about your time and basically um, how important it is for you to find time for yourself within a chaotic world. So that's exactly what you can expect in this video if it's something that you're interested in um, ab uh, about, about finding out a little bit more about it, then, then watch on. You can maybe just fast forward um, if you're watching back, maybe 20, 30 seconds just while we uh, ramp up the live feed waiting for it to come through. Okay. So. Cool. Right. So do you know what? I'm just going to get started straight away. Um, so basically, as I said before, this is for people that are looking, um, who, are, who are within chaotic lifestyles right now, who are struggling um, to find time for themselves to reflect and think about what they want from um, life, whether it's fitness, business, relationships or personal development. And one thing that I want to sort of state straight away is this is something for... Um, I'm not tell I'm not telling you how to do this. I'm just showing you what I do and my practices and how it's working for me. Um, you might copy copy it or you might copy aspects of it to put into your daily routine and and push yourself forward from there. So um, basically, this is a follow on from um, a live feed that I did last week, and I did a live feed on planning. So we're just going to do a real quick um, recap from last week. So there are four areas that I plan, and it's personal development, health, um, business, and relationships. And the reason I break it into those four courses is so that I can visually see on my board how I'm breaking my life down within these different categories. That allows me to make sure that I'm not overloading with work, or I'm not spending too much time away from work, all right, and maybe not concentrate enough time on personal development. So what happens is by looking at my plan, um, I can plan that out. All right, so that's just a, a recap on last week. And again, like I say, I always say I'm not telling you how to do this. I'm simply showing you what I do and hopefully it can help you. Um, OK, so the problem with um, maybe the majority of guys that I speak to and work with online, maybe the majority of people that I work with on my own um, other boot camp or anything else that I deal with within any other businesses that I'm sort of running. You know, I run, um, I run a fitness boot camp down in the southeast of England. Um, I run an online fitness company for men over 35 and we're in the early stages of running um, an accountability product, uh, productivity business um, to get the most out of people that are in business and to help people that are struggling to be productive. So we're in the early stages of setting that up. Um, and basically, life is so chaotic, okay, um, something that I find personally is everything's going on. I've got two children, I've got one on the way, we're looking to move house, we're trying to run a business, we're trying to deal with everything that's being thrown at us. So, um, we, there's very little time for ourselves. And I did a podcast on Friday and it was talking about um, the you time and it's something that I try to... Uh, it's something that I try to instill, especially with the guys online, because a lot of the guys are out early morning, you know, the back late, and the, the, the biggest problem that they found that were struggling to find time to um, get fit, they were struggling for time to, for their food prep, and actually all it is is just poor structure within their lifestyle and their, and their role, and then all you need to do is make some slight tweaks, and actually you can, you can get a lot more out of it. So at what point do we stop and spend some time with ourselves away from the, the hectic world, away from partners, away from children, um, away from work and emails and the demands of life of bringing in money, okay, the stress, stress, stress of everyday life. When do we just take that, that second back when we put the phone on aeroplane mode, we turn the laptop off, we go somewhere, okay, no newspapers, no nothing, can we just have that time to ourselves? And that is you time. And what I call it is, with the guys, is the golden hour. Now, the golden hour is, um, is about getting up an hour earlier than you normally would. Now, obviously, this is not practical or suitable for those who are on shift works, um, and it's very difficult to do it, but you can still plan your golden hour in. If you work overnight, your golden hour might be the hour before you start that night shift, all right, and that's just your time, or it might be... Um, the time when you finish your night shift. So you don't have to be in the nine to five to have the golden hour. It's just that hour where you spend um, time by yourself. And if it's that chaotic and you're that busy, okay, you'll find 30 minutes for your own time. 
you know, I've worked recently with a couple of directors of companies or a couple of CEOs and they are very, very demanding with their jobs. Huge, you know, budgets to look after, like 10, 12 million pound and, and they refuse to open up their eyes to see that they could find this time for themselves. And in the end, we broke the back of it and they managed to find some time for themselves and actually improve their lifestyle. So it's a case of breaking down barriers. So the, um, <laughs> the, gold, the golden hour, the benefits to you time, that time for you, and, okay, um, and I really have to emphasize the fact that you don't have any phones here. You might simply just go for a coffee, okay, and all that you'll need is a piece of pen and paper. And the you time is when you reflect and review the four areas in your life. Personal development, health, relationships, and business. Okay, business, whether you're in your business for yourself or whether you're working for somebody else. Um, fitness, okay, how are we doing with fitness goals and fit nutrition? How's our relationships with friends? Um, how's our relationship with family? Um, how's our relationships with our partners? How is our business relationship? So remember, that's what we're looking at. And then personal development. How are you developing as an individual going forwards? All right, so there are things that we need to think about. Now that's a lot to deal with, okay? So if you watched last week, you see there's a link in the feed. You can watch that if you're unsure. We made our plan. So how, at what point do we review our plan? So this, I'm only telling you what I do. Uh, and I spend um, half an hour, usually around half past 10 to 11 in a day. And I just sit down and I review how, I, how I'm getting on, all right? So basically, um, am, I, am I overworking? Am I not exercising enough? Am I um, not spending enough time with a partner? Okay, or am I not developing myself? Am I just constantly making content without learning stuff myself? And it really helps me personally to be able to sit down and go, okay, look at those four areas in my life, those four, four checkpoints, and go, yep, yeah, I'm balanced, I'm working, okay, or I'm overworking, and you know, and it allows you, that you time allows you to actually think about where you are as an individual and you are the most important person because if you don't have that time to be, think about you, you can't be an effective asset to yourself, all right? You, you, your brain is a muscle. If I bicep curled the whole day, all right? If I bicep curled from the minute I woke up, from the minute I went to sleep, my arms would fall off, all right? And that's what happens with our brains. We, we consistently think of everything that's going on everything you've got to do i've got to go to the bank i've got to pick up the kids i've got to go to work i've got to send that email i've got to find that person i've got to drop that text and you are carrying all of that shit up in your head and that is like your brain is going overload okay it's becoming tired it's becoming frustrated it's becoming stressed okay you're making bad decisions you're snapping at the people that you love and at some point you have to quieten the brain, okay? Some people do it for meditation, some people do it for yoga, so breathing exercises, um, whatever your method is to quiet the brain, I recommend the you time, all right? And I recommend by starting just for 30 minutes, sitting calmly with a piece of paper and writing out everything, right? Everything that you're feeling in each category, all right? There has to be some structure with this. So the structure, personal development, I keep saying it so it instills health, um, business, relationships, and on your little plan for your half an hour, you're going to write down how you're doing for each. I'm not paying enough attention to my wife today. I'm not getting out to all the clients that I want to. I've over planned or I've over um, or I've overdone it with my goal setting. So I'm burnt out. I haven't got to the gym because I haven't planned properly um, because I decided that I was going to work for 90 minutes. I actually worked for two hours and missed my half an hour workout. So it allows you to like analyze, it allows you to review, reflect. So if you think about any football team, when they play a game of football, afterwards they review that match, they spend that time, they probably spend two hours sitting down, analyzing the game, reviewing, okay? And that's their time. That time allocated is not about the press release, it's not about coaching the players or building up their fitness and their strength, it's about reviewing the game and who played well, who didn't play well, what tactics worked, what tactics didn't. And it's no different for you as an individual. When you sit there with your piece of paper in your golden hour, you are doing exactly that. What am I doing well? What am I not doing well? And consistent behavior and, and habit, routine and structure you're building. That's what you're doing by your time. You're building up habit, you're building up routine, you're building up structure. 
okay? And this, for me, is where so many people go wrong when they're trying to do the fitness goals. It's all about everything else, okay? Next week, we're gonna come on to priorities, but we're not reviewing our life. So we're not seeing what's going on with our fitness, which I'm gonna bring on to you now, all right? So having time to yourself improves your self-awareness. By improving your self-awareness, you can, you can um, reflect exactly where you are. So I'm gonna be, so if you wake up, you look in a mirror and you look at your body, that reflects the, how high you prioritize your body, okay? And that's just straight up, okay? If you um, look at your bank account, okay? If you look at your bank account, and however good a state that is, that is in, that is down to how you manage that bank account, okay? You look at your marriage. If it's a good marriage or it's a poor marriage, that reflects how you act within that marriage, okay? So the self-awareness, by stopping just for 30 minutes minimum to think about it, okay, you are able to act on it. It opens up your brain, okay? Instead of it going consistently through a chaotic life, you stop, you think, you become self-aware about the situation and you act on it. That's what you do. You review, um, you reflect and you act consistently. Uh, you commit to it, you implement it, okay, and you keep it consistent. Um, okay, so, for a lot of, so, for different people, a lot of people I feel are in denial. So, a lot of people think that they are planning well, a lot of people think that they're eating well and they're training well and they have a good structure. And we can have a lot of denial going on in our head. <laughs> and it's almost, the, it's almost a case of facing the facts that it's not quite as good as we think it is. So I did, um, I did a priority check with one of my online clients and I asked them to prioritize the top five things in their life. And as most people who have families, families would be at the top. So I then asked how much time they spent with their family. So the time that they spent with their family was very limited. So I questioned his priority list and said, can you really put family at the top? As your, as, is it your priority right now? Are you finishing on work at time? to get home for the family dinner, okay? Are you going out on weekends without your phone on? Are you paying attention to your children at night when they're craving your attention or are you working or texting or checking Facebook? Um, and so on. So we went through this, it was a bit of a harsh, it was a little bit of a, a, a hard hitting moment for that particular client. And um, he like really opened his eyes. And you know, it's that, it's that almost denial that you feel that, because you're thinking that they're your priority, it doesn't actually reflect within your actions. So that's where stopping, thinking, and looking at the bigger picture helps. And that, that, that you time does help. Uh, hidden truths, I guess it kind of comes in. What my example there is very much talking about the hidden truths. If you're overweight, you're overweight, okay? There's no way of getting around it. It's no hidden truth. Sometimes we can convince ourselves that we're all right and that we're going to get started next week. It's a very common practice. Okay, but we don't start next week because we don't plan, we don't review, and we don't reflect. Okay, I want to get an extra 20 customers coming in next month. Have you put the work in to get those 20 customers? You review, reflect as a business owner. Have you put in the effort to um, go on a date night with your partner? How much effort, how many times have you bought flowers for your wife? Okay, or your husband. I only say wife because I usually specialise working with guys, so it's just the way it goes. Personal development. When was the last time you read a book? When was the last time that you um, pushed yourself, listened to a podcast, learned something within your trade, uh, learned about nutrition? Shush. Learned about nutrition. Learned about exercise. So I, I only, I'm only questioning you. I question myself. I'm only showing you what I do. And I'm quite harsh with my realities. Am I doing enough to sustain my business? Am I doing enough to sustain my partnership? Am I doing enough to keep myself fit and active? Am I doing enough to develop myself? Am I doing enough as a father? So these are questions that you've got to ask yourself and your you time gives you that. <clears throat> hey Andy, hey Joe. <whistles> Excuses. Okay, so what you will do, and this is a common practice, okay? Excuses are the biggest downfall of any man or woman, okay? Excuses uh, hide the fact of your accountability, okay? When we make excuses not to do something, okay? When we make excuses not to do anything, 
Um, we um, we lose. We don't want to hold ourselves accountable because it, it links in. I, you probably can't see my board, but it helps me. <laughs> it links in with the hidden truths and the denial. When you start holding yourself account, accountable, and I mean holding yourself accountable brutally and honestly, you are only lying to yourself if you are not holding yourself accountable. All right. Without that you time, you sit there and you go, my life is just fine as it is. If it's just fine as it is, that's perfect. You don't need to watch any more of this live feed. You don't need to watch any more of this video. Okay. If you hold yourself accountable, you have to ask yourself some honest questions. Okay. In the four categories. Structure, see? we just not randomly asking your questions. We've got our headings every time. Every time. Okay. Uh, the biggest thing, and I'm going to finish on this, is I know what's going on. I know what is going on. Why do I need to write it down? Why do I need to reflect? Because you have got going on here. You're trying to build a promotion for your job. You're trying to learn new systems. You're trying to build new customers. You're trying to um, retain customers. Okay, so that's one part of your brain dealing with personal development. You're trying to get fit. You're feeling anxious because you're overweight. You don't know what to eat. You've got no time to train. You're becoming more stressed and frustration. That's all here. So we've got two, two parts. Um, personal, uh, sorry, business. Okay, you've got a report to do by Friday. You've got to send out 100 emails, so on, so forth. Bang, and relationship, I need to get on date night, I need to get kids. So everything on is going on in this brain, okay? Everything, you're overloading, you're burning out, stressing out, and you're becoming frustrated and making stupid decisions. So you know what's going on, okay? So I don't need to plan, okay? I don't need to write this down, I don't need reflection time. You do, because you want to transfer everything that is going on from here to paper, because you brain dump it, and it relieves your brain to be able to think clearer, all right, because you hold yourself accountable. And these are all the benefits of finding half an hour for you as an individual, for a person, okay, on your life. Okay, and it is vitally important if you are gonna, if you're gonna be successful, you might be successful without this. And like I said at the very start, Okay, I'm, uh, don't worry Neil, you can catch it up my man. And like I say to you, I'm just showing you what I do and it is working. Okay, it is working, it's working great. You know, I plan by the hour. I plan by the hour and move on from there. So, you time is vital. I want you to give it a try. So a practice might be, um, it's Sunday night now. I want you to plan your personal development for the week, your health for the week, your business for the week or your job, and your relationships around you that are important, okay? I just, all, all you have to do is make three goals in each one. Three goals in each one, and each day, next week, just start Monday to Friday, it's hard to introduce a new habit and a routine and change some structure. Just spend half an hour, if you can, if you can, wait till the kids go to bed, turn the telly off, have your half an hour then, okay? <laughs> To make it happen, okay? And it's uh, a lot of people go, well, it's easy, good for you to say, but it's it's not. You have to introduce these things. You have to have that half an hour to concentrate on you as a person so that you build, so that you reduce your frustrations, so that you reduce your stress, and you can move forward with your life. Um, I hope that helps. I'm being ushered on because dinner needs to be done. <laughs> so I'm not in a fancy office. Um, I hope that helps. I hope you get some sort of value from it. You might have to watch that back again. Just to get the bearings of it, I kind of re-emphasise a lot of facts within there. Um, and I just want to hope, hopefully, that will help you. I'm going to maybe do this a regular thing on a Sunday night, all right, on 7 o'clock. Um, and next week, we're going to talk about priorities and how you prioritise the four areas of your life, okay? And what you're prioritising and how you're prioritising and if it's a reflection of your actions. I hope you have a great week. Um, do drop a comment down below if you do watch all of this. Um, it would be great to hear what you think. Um, I kind of feel like it maybe I, I quite like doing it because it reconfirms really everything that I'm doing um, to keep my keep myself sane. You know, anxiety cripples me a lot of the time, so does stress. So I find that super planning and reflecting really calms the emotions and the stress and anxiety. Um, and the kind of like dips of depression in and out. So it kind of does really help, I think, especially being ex-military, quite OCD and being straight to the point. So 
I hope it helps. Hope you have a great week. Uh, I'll be throwing out loads of content. Going to get a couple of podcasts out this week. Um, and I hope you uh, move forward with your lives. All right. Catch you all soon.